hey guys good evening and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you're new to my channel you're highly welcome please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see and to my old subscribers you guys already know you are the mvp the real one for that matter <laughs> thank you guys so much for all the love and the support so we just dismissed our online church or online service a few minutes ago so i decided to pick up my camera to talk to you guys baby girl is here she's shaking her hands mm -hmm. she needs my attention just now 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 that i said let me talk to you guys okay i'll be back okay guys so um like i was saying i received a dm on instagram and uh, the person was asking me how like can i please share my tips on how i trained favor to become a little helping hand to me yeah like the way she's helping me you guys have seen the way she's been helping me in my recent vlogs you know normally i don't usually show them a lot in my vlogs like what they do for me i just show their faces in my vlog but i don't usually show how they really help me at all so but with the arrival of this baby i'm able to show favor a lot more in my vlogs than usual i think she wants to sleep whenever she wants to sleep that's it's either she wants to sleep or she wants to eat she has eaten already oh my love she has eaten now she wants to sleep i will be back again <laughs> that is my life <laughs> i'll be back again guys i think she prefers it this way she's just relaxing there so um the person was asking me to share my tips on how i trained favor into helping me the truth of the matter is okay especially when it comes to carrying baby the truth of the matter is that i did not for one day teach favor how to carry a baby i didn't like <sighs> i don't know if you guys will believe this but that is the plain truth when we used to live in our old apartment there's this little doll that she always carry but that one looks more like a boy not a girl she used to call that doll victor and then she was like four years old so she usually carried this victor of a boy <laughs> or of a doll this victor of a doll she usually carries it around feeds him like bat him as in pretend bat not like real bat even when we moved in here there's another doll she will go and carve out some papers and use it to uh, uh, create a ribbon hair ribbon for the doll and she will put it on the head and uh, carve out a uh, pacifier i don't know how she, I, I just wish i would see where that thing is and i'll show you she will put it in the mouth of that doll as if the doll is you know sucking on pacifier and she will be carrying it around, petting the doll, you know. So, when this baby finally came, the way she, if this baby is crying, lying in her crib, she will just rush and come and carry her. Like, she will carry the baby out from her crib. I'm like, how did she, like, where did she even learn this? I never knew that all this while she was carrying doll around. She was practicing how to carry a baby. And probably the one she saw on the television, she was just busy practicing it and I didn't realize it. Now, when it comes to helping me, I taught her. Like, I call her, give me this, give me that, do this, do that. As little as she was or as she still is now, I do send her on, on some little errands. Because I, some parents, let's be realistic here. I noticed that some parents they pet their kids to the point that they don't want to send them to any errand that it, come on to bring this for me they feel like they are maltreating their child no that is not a proper training you should start from when they are very little tell them to pick up their toys after them 
Tell them to make their beds. Tell them to do all, all those little, little chores. You know that it's not harmful or it's not stressful. Tell them to do it. Monitor them. Help them. Show them what to do. Show them how to do it. And watch them grow into doing it. So I think that's what really helped me. I didn't do anything dramatic at all. Nothing dramatic. I was just taking it one step at a time. Now I'm about to start teaching her how to wash dishes. Yes, because I cannot have a a grown up girl like her. I know she's too very she's still very um little to wash dishes. I'm not saying she will start washing the dishes for me now. I want to teach her so that by the time she's eight nine she will be she will be a professional dishwasher since we don't have a dish washing machine here. I'm the one doing it and sometimes or even most of the time since I gave birth it has been my husband that has been doing the dishes so at least she can help from time to time I'm not saying it's going to become her sure from time to time she can help around to wash the dishes it must not be me or my husband so I will advise that you start now and the person said that the girl plays too much even when she tries to teach teach her she plays around and would not concentrate favor plays a lot but if if i want to tell her to do something i bring out my red eyes yes i'm that type of a strict mom not to the extent of depriving depriving them what what i'm not supposed to deprive them if you get what i mean like for instance if they want to eat food I will say no you will not eat food because you didn't do this no you will go and eat after eating you will come and do that thing and if you refuse to do it then you will see the other side of me that is how i train my kids i don't give them soft hand yes i don't give them soft hand if you give them soft hand they will think oh that is normal you know don't give them soft hand. I didn't say you should. You shouldn't love your kids. You shouldn't uh, play with your kids, or you shouldn't cuddle with your kids, or however you want to put it. But when it comes to serious matter, bring out your red eyes. Tell them that this thing is serious, and they must do it. It's a must here in this house. It's not a matter of uh, do you want to do it or not. If I want you to do it, you must do it. So. I don't know. I don't know. There is nothing special I did. I didn't do anything special. I just tell them what to do and they must do it. I don't know. I think I've been rambling a lot and I don't even know if I'm making sense. But yeah, that's it basically. Just start from now. Start now that they are still very little, you know, and it will surely help you because here in diaspora, we don't have any help. We don't have people to come help us. Look at me. I just gave birth. My mom is not here. It's just my husband and I. With our three other kids. I have four kids now. And we are doing this all by ourselves. Especially now that everybody is, is told to stay at home. Those friends that were saying they will come to help. They will come and help when I put to bed. None of them is here. Because of the stay at home matter. You know. So it's very, very difficult and challenging. Now, at this, at this point or at this time that the world is facing difficult challenges, Favor is here to help me. I cannot have a big girl like her, even though she's not that big, and I'll be doing everything by myself. No. She will carry this baby and I'll be cooking. And that has been of a great help to me. And another thing you should not do is, for instance, if you are... A new mom like you recently put to bed and you have a girl that is favors age if she wants to carry the baby don't say no leave her you will throw her on the floor or you will drop the baby no because that that was what I did initially I was like favor no leave my baby you will drop her please don't carry her please but at, at the point I was like if I keep on like this who will help me carry this baby for instance, if she's not going to school, maybe they are on holiday and she's at home. Will she be at home? I will carry the baby and I will be cooking. I was like, okay, what I will do is I'm going to allow her carry the baby, but I have to stand there and monitor her. I did it. I saw how strong her hands were. 
the way she was carrying the baby, she was carrying the baby like grandma. <laughs> so that was when I, I, I just trusted her, basically. I just trusted her with this baby that she can handle her. She carries her around like, oh my God, rocks the baby. Fever will be sleeping in her room now. At night, midnight, this baby will start crying. Before I could get up from my bed, Fever is already here. Fever, what are you doing here? I want to carry my baby. Am I not here? And she's, because she's crying, I want to carry her. I said, please go to your room. I can carry her, okay? Go and sleep. She needs to sleep. But this girl, she will always want to come and carry her. Whenever she hears, eh, 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 she will rush and come and carry her. The other night, I was in the kitchen and trying to fix something to eat. Baby started crying. She was in her crib. And Fever was supposed to be sleeping. This girl, before I could come from the kitchen to my room, Fever is already here with the baby, rocking her. <laughs> I was... I was just wild. Okay? So, what I'm trying to say is, if your baby girl wants to carry her baby sister or baby brother, don't say no. Let her do it. Or even if your, your boy, if you have uh, an older boy that wants to carry, sometimes we can teach our boys, not only the girls. I do teach my boys, I do teach them some other things around the house. Let the boy or the girl carry the baby brother or the baby sister, probably sit on the bed, use pillow to guide them. From time to time, keep monitoring them. Don't leave them alone. Stay there and monitor them for some minutes, then you can carry the baby back. Next time, let him or her carry the baby and stand up rock 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 walk around make sure you are following them and guiding them okay so that the baby will not fall before you know it after a few days it will become part of the girl or part of the boy you know so don't don't deprive them of that uh, pleasure of wanting to carry their baby brother or baby sister so that's the tip i have to give you i know i've said a lot i've really said a lot but do not allow your kids to play all the time when there is something very serious and, and important to do let them know that there is time to play and there is time to be serious and there is in fact basically there is time for everything just like ecclesiastes says there's time for everything every time is not for play they can't be playing from morning to night yes they will be playing, especially now that they are on, on holiday, emergency holiday. They can play as much as they want. But when it comes to doing something serious, something important in the house, they should abandon that play and do that thing. That is how to train them. So I hope this uh, video helps you and I hope I've answered your question. Please, if you have any more questions you think... I should know the answer definitely leave it in the comment section below and maybe from time to time i could just carry my camera like this and answer one or two questions yeah i think that would be a great idea let's be doing it if you have any question leave it in the comment section if you are not comfortable writing it in the comment section you can you can um dm me on instagram at fantastic favor or um facebook messenger at fantastic favor as well all my social media platform uh, my username is always fantastic favor anywhere you type fantastic favor you will see me <laughs> but i'm not on twitter i'm not on snapchat i'm not on tiktok although just facebook instagram and youtube and as for whatsapp you have to have my number before you connect with me on whatsapp so just throw in your questions from time to time and if it is something I know and I can answer, I will just pick up my camera like this, answer it or answer them just like I've done now. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful enough and I don't know if I said all I wanted to say because I had a lot to say in my mind. But picking up the camera, I know I must definitely forget one or two things. But yeah, even if I forget it now, maybe from time to time, I will ship in one or two in my vlogs. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. Um, my baby is sleeping now. Let me go and put her in her crib. This is this is 10 p.m. Yeah, so it's time to sleep. 
i will see you guys in my next video please stay safe take care of yourself and take care of your family members as well thank you and god bless you all bye and good night i watch you as you drive do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile do you know how much i love you